What is up, fellow nerds? Uh, I'm JD, this is Malta5, and I am so happy to be back playing Magic again. It has been been a little while for me. Uh, I was basically gone all summer, so I haven't gotten a chance to play any Magic in a while. Uh, I'm super excited to get back into it. There's been some pretty big changes since the last time I was playing consistently. Um, Faithless Looting and Hogak are gone, and Stoneforge Mystic is in. Um, so it seems the meta has has toned down quite a bit. Uh, it's a little little slower, a little more fair. Um, so maybe that means it's time for my jank to shine a little bit more. <laughs> I feel like most of the videos in the past, uh, I, I was kind of streaming a lot of, or not streaming, I was recording a lot of my videos at the height of like degeneracy in the modern metagame. Um, kind of a hostile environment for, for non-tiered decks, which is, which is kind of all I do. Um, so... Um, excited to get back in, excited to maybe be a little more competitive, not competitive, just not die as quick maybe. Um, anyway, so I'm back here today with a, a janky version of Merfolk. I'm calling it Hardened Fish. It's a Hardened Scales, um, version of Merfolk. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with Hardened Scales. Uh, it's a one mana enchantment that basically adds another plus one plus one counter uh, anytime you would normally add one. Um, so if you normally add one, you add two instead, etc. Um, this has found a home in Hardened Scales Affinity, um, but I figured why not throw it into Merfolk because there's actually a decent amount of them with plus one plus one counter synergy. Um, for example, let's just let's go through the list here. Uh, we've got Benthic Biomancer, who has kind of become maybe not a staple, but um, used often in Merfolk decks these days since he was released. Um, he's just a one one for one, but you can adapt him, which says whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Benthic Biomancer, draw a card, then discard a card. So he's got a looting effect, which is nice. You can kind of filter through your deck. Um, However, typically, uh, the adaptability requires him to have no plus one plus one counters on him already. Uh, so in a typical uh, Merfolk deck, uh, you can adapt once, and then you don't really have any other way to put additional counters on him. So you adapting one time, sure, that's great, uh, but with this Hardened Scales deck and the, the plus one plus one counter synergy I'm going to go over, um, he now becomes a repeatable engine of looting, which is pretty cool. You can kind of filter through your deck pretty nicely, throw away stuff you don't want, dig to the stuff you do want. Um, so Benthic Biomancer becomes a lot better in this deck because um, he's not a one, one and done use anymore. Mm. Um, then moving mm. along, our other one drop creature is Cozy's Trickster. And you never see this one anymore. Uh, this is an older Merfolk from Zendikar. Uh, whenever an opponent shuffles their library, you may put a plus one plus one counter on Cozy's Trickster. So this is actually decent in modern because uh, of all the fetch lands um, and other various search effects. Opponents end up shuffling their library a decent amount. So you kind of... Uh, it triggers more often than you would think. Um, so Cozy's Trickster can become pretty big pretty quick. Um, to kind of pair with Cozy's Trickster, I added some Field of Ruin into the mana base to kind of force the opponent, because this uh, Field of Ruin is not a May effect. When you, when you destroy the land, they search their library for a basic land, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. There's no May there. They have to do it. So that's a forced shuffle to help grow Cozy's Trickster. So some synergy there. Um, let's see, moving right along, Hardened Scales, we talked about Metallic Mimic. Um, Metallic Mimic acts as a lord of sorts, um, with plus one, plus one counter synergy. Uh, so it enters the battlefield as a merfolk, um, and then 
every other merfolk that enters after that enters with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. So Metallic Mimic, mm -hmm. maybe not quite as good as the mm -hmm. uh, standard mm -hmm. lords in merfolk, but again, in this Hardened Scales version, mm -hmm. it's got some great synergy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Spreading Seas in the deck, uh, I mean, we've got mm -hmm. the Island Walk lords in here. Um, mm -hmm. so I wanted to have at least a couple copies of Spreading Seas in case the opponent isn't naturally playing islands. Uh, it's nice to give our creatures unblockability with the island walk. Um, so Spreading Seas, again, it's a classic in most merfolk decks. Mm -hmm. Uh, the mm -hmm. standard lords, mm -hmm. plus one, plus one, and island mm -hmm. walk. These are mm -hmm. stock. Um, and then we have a third, well, I guess kind of a fourth Lord, if you count Metallic Mimic, uh, in Merfolk Mistbinder. This brings us into Simic, along with Hardened Scales. Uh, other Merfolk you control get plus one, plus one. No Island Walk from this guy, but still, Lord effects are nice. Um, and then two more green Merfolk, each dealing with plus one, plus one counters. Deep Root Elite. Whenever another merfolk enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target merfolk you control. Um, so we're triggering more counters mm -hmm. there. And Branch Walker, when it enters the battlefield, it explores kind of like a Silvergill Adept. Um, it, you're drawing a card if it's a land. Um, if it's not a land, you can either keep it on top. You can kind of scry it away almost, keep it on top or put it in the graveyard and it gets a counter, so it's a win-win. You're either drawing a card or getting a counter. Um, mm. So obviously all of these effects are compound amazingly with Hardened Scales. The, it, the deck plays super differently with Hardened Scales and without Hardened Scales. Um, without Hardened Scales, it's very meh. <laughs> um, it's fine, it's just, with hardened scales, things get out of hand really fast. Like these guys get big very quickly. Mm -hmm. You're looting like crazy with Benthic Biomancer. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, mm -hmm. with hardened scales, the the games are are very different than without. Mm -hmm. um, but it it gets pretty silly. It's pretty fun. Um, Ether Vial also kind of a staple in in Merfolk decks. And in this deck, actually, I have no creatures above a two drop. So. Um, no Master of Waves at four, no Marrow Regery at three, nothing like that. Uh, the curve tops out at two, so we're never going to put Aether Vial above two. Um, and speaking of the low curve, plus four Aether Vials, uh, I brought the land count down to 18. 20 lands is typical in most Merfolk decks, but with such a low curve, I think 18 is probably fine. Um, and this mana base is actually kind of fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Botanical Sanctum is the, the green-blue fast mm -hmm. land. Uh, mm -hmm. A couple breeding pools mm -hmm. and Cavern of Souls help fix. Um, give I mean, obviously make our creatures uncounterable. It also helps fix colors for casting creatures. Anyway, doesn't really help with like spreading seas, mm -hmm. but. Um, we're very, very creature heavy. There's 32, so um, Cavern's pretty damn good. Field of Ruin I talked about is uh, kind of forced shuffle with Cozy Strixter. I mean, it's also just good against like Tron or or even like Jund. It kind of helps mess with their mana a little bit in conjunction with Spreading Seas. Could be very good against Tron. Uh, basic Islands and then Waterlogged Grove, the new uh, Horizon land. Um, this card's great. Just being able to cycle away a land when you're flooding out and drawing a fresh card is, is pretty awesome. Um, can be painful though, mm -hmm. but with like, with, especially with the breeding pools. Um, if you end up with all breeding pools and waterlogged grove in your opening hand, it, it can get painful, not very good against burn, but, um, overall I've been happy with it. So that's the main deck. And in the sideboard, uh, we've got Relic of Progenitus to fight against the graveyard decks, which have seemed to drop off the map a little bit since Hogak and Looting are, have disappeared, but they're not gone completely, so we still got some relics. Uh, the other two Spreading Seas are in here, again, to help with Tron or, or Jund or that sort of thing. Um, even Burn. Burn is very weak to Spreading Seas. Um, 
So mm-hmm. we got two more in there to finish off the play set. Uh, Tidebinder Mage comes in, you know, again, against Jund or um, come in against Burn. Anything that's running red, green creatures, you could lock down a Primeval Titan, etc., etc. Mm-hmm. Kind of a this pretty decent sideboard card. New mm-hmm. one, Collector Oof. Uh Artifact hate. Activated abilities of artifacts can't be activated. Um, just it's been a pretty good card since its release, kind of becoming a, a sideboard staple. Mm-hmm. And uh, Force mm-hmm. Negation. Um, again, another one that's becoming a staple. I, I don't have them in the main board because I was going for ultimate just like balls to the wall, lords, creatures, plus one, plus one synergy. Um, so I maxed out on my creature count. Um, but this will definitely come in fairly often post board. Um, it's just a great card. Uh, this will come in against combo control, whatever. Um, Mm. and even though we added some green into the deck, we still have enough blue spells that forces live most of the time. I mean, there are 12 cards that won't true. Well, you know, obviously the lands and the vials won't trigger it regardless, but Hardened mm-hmm. Scales, Deep Root Elite, and Merfolk Branchwalker also mm-hmm. you cannot pitch to force. But we've got Spreading Seas, Cozies, Biomancer, the Two Lords, Merfolk mm-hmm. Mistbinder still counts as blue. Mm-hmm. I think there's enough where it is still worth it. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, that is Hardened Fish, Hardened Scales, Merfolk. Uh, we'll see how this does. This most janky brew. Um, We're going to take it through League. Yeah, see how we do. See you guys in the first match. Thank you for watching.